so we're going to go ahead and get started so i'm going to start from the lightest color to the darkest color so let's see here all right the first color is called trophy life so trophy life is first I always gotta smell it. I'm gonna layer it one more time. It feels really good going on. It feels really hydrating going on. And the dough food is really nice. It really comforts the lips. Really good. And I love the muted pink color. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. Dries down pretty fast. A little tackiness here. It dries down pretty fast. There's a little transfer there in the middle. Let that completely dry down. And still a little bit sticky, but not much. Like it's drying down really fast. I would probably, when I actually get ready to wear it, I would use the darker color as a liner to contour my lid pretty much dry. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the shine on top. And no, no scent to this side. All right, while we have this one on, I'm just gonna read here on the website to see, to give all the details. Um, it says meet our first ultra pigmented high shine lip color within 16 hour no transfer wear lightweight and comfy on the lips comfy on the lips this vegan formula delivers one swipe loud color with an ultra glossy ultra glassy non-sticky shine easy two-step technology simply pair the high pigmented base coat infused with lip loving oils with the ultra reflective non-sticky top coat for the loudest shine you've ever seen up to 16 hour no color transfer no smudge no bleed no fade you can kiss drink hair flip <laughs> even wear it under your mask now that would be a test i don't know if this shine part is supposed to dry down or what but it's still pretty glossy so i'm gonna wait a few minutes and come back and see all right so i pulled the video up from their website and i'm going to show you guys i don't know exactly okay that's kind of in the beginning so it's supposed to be no transfer even with the shine on it and I got transfer of the clear part, but not the color. This one here. I'll wipe it off again. Now that is pretty cool the more the more I tap my lips or press it the more matte it gets so I could see where they say it won't transfer into your mask but why even put the clear part on if it's gonna completely come off I mean I understand if you want like shine on your lips you know for those that like gloss or like a glossy look but for me unless the clear part kind of seals in the matte part I'm not sure that's pretty cool all right let's take this off and then we'll try the second color so I actually came back because I wanted you guys to see me 
try to take this off. I tried to take it off just on its own. And I'm actually using a towel, one of my makeup towels I have here. And ouch, that hurt. There's still a little bit of stain there. <laughs> So there's still a little bit of stain there, but I'm not going to like ruin my lips with doing that. All right, let's go on to the next color. The next color is called Royal Shaper. I'm gonna TikTok at the same time. Now, when I ordered these, they were already out of a lot of colors because I would have selected like a true red. Like they feel really good going on. And this color is showing up neon on my on my screen here. All right, so we're just gonna let that dry. It kind of reminds me of Impassioned by Mac. And that used to be one of my favorite colors. All right, so I think that's completely dry now. All right, so now we're gonna put on the gloss and again, I'm just making a quick video for TikTok. So I would say that, okay, so the matte, I don't know. So both both options seals it in. The only thing is with the gloss, like the gloss part comes off. Look, as I do this, you can, again, you can see the gloss but it's not transfer the color. It's not transferring the color. So if you're wearing a mask, color lasts, but I just, I don't know. I'm not really a gloss person. The gloss part feels really good. Again, it feels like a lip oil. So I don't know. I would just probably just use that side, you know, like a lip oil or just like a gloss on its own. You know, if you're gonna be wearing a mask, now, if you're not wearing a mask and you just, you know, want to shine, you can do that. But again, nothing. They remind me of, although I have never used them, I can't think of the name. That was a product where you put the, like the, you know, you put the matte color on first and then put a gloss on it. But then they also had like some kind of remover you would take the lip completely off with. And... I can't, I can't think of the name. Like, I'm trying to take this off. Again, I'm using a towel. There's a little bit there, but it's not budging. And I do not want to, to hurt my lips. Let me see. I don't know what else to use to get this stuff off. Here's my lip oil. Jeez. Last color just dropped. Try to put some of my, maybe my lip plumper. Put some of that on and see if I can get it off. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay. I have a remover. Where is it? All right, so I'm gonna try my micellar water. Let's try that, <laughs> see if that'll break it down. Guys, <laughs> this stuff is hard to get off. I'm gonna make this stuff. Uh... Hmm. Like, I seriously cannot, and I'm rubbing. But I don't want to look too hard, hard, you know, make my lips bleed or anything. But 
Jeez. I will say if you're looking for staying power under a mask, probably through eating and all of that, this is this is it, because this is not coming off. This is not coming off completely. Like look at that stain on my lip. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so finally, I just went over it, as you can see with my foundation brush that I used. Let's try on the last color. All right, and then the last color is called, what is this called? Next Gen Thinking. Ooh, I kind of like this. It's like a grayish nude. Again, definitely picking up darker on my screen here than what it is. This is pretty, I like this. As close to nude as I can get. I remember going on the website looking for a nude because nude is my go-to. This is as close as I can find. It feels really good going on. It feels really good really smooth color payoff i would probably say really really pigmented this one i can kind of see through i don't know if it's picking up on camera but i can like see my lip through here so i probably would apply a little bit more there again the center takes a little bit more time to dry maybe because my lips are closed so maybe if i hold them open it would dry a little bit quicker. Still is a little wet. I'm gonna put this on to see if this kind of seals it in. Let's see now, like right away. And get a clean finger. Okay. It's a little transfer. Yeah, so it looks like putting the gloss on it like right away kind of seals it in. All right. I would say I definitely love the the cover payoff I love the fact that they are matte I will honestly probably say I would not use, well I take that back only because now I see that the clear portion really really seals that color in so it doesn't transfer. So I would probably say that I would use the clear part and just make sure the the clear is gone before you know if you weren't a mask or just let it dry down. So the price for these each were eleven fifty, which is not bad. You're kind of getting like a two in one. I guess you could wear the this part on its own if you needed to. And a little bit goes a long way. They were all pretty pigmented with like a couple swipes. This one seemed to, which you would think the darker one would be a little bit more pigmented, but there was a little bit of my lip. You really can't tell. And it could be, you know, me rubbing from the other ones. I would probably say, yes, I like these. I would definitely be wearing these. I would, you know, especially with the mask, you can find lippy that doesn't transfer in these days. That's awesome. So the colors, I like the darkest one, which again is Next Generation Thinking. That one's probably my favorite. The pink is my next favorite color, which is called Trophy Life. And then the last, World Shaper for the last one. So that's my least favorite. But yeah, so if you're looking for a lippy that you can wear under your mask, these are it. 
price is not too bad it's not going to break the bank you know it's gonna it's gonna last through your mask through eating which i didn't try that but i would imagine it took me took me a bit to get these off so yeah let me know if you guys have heard of these or if you've used these let me know what you think about them and i don't know i might try to find a i might try to go back on the website to find like a more nude color this color is nice but for like my go-to nude i i would prefer something a little bit lighter all right guys so that is it for this video so if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram at lrh makeup and also underscore beauty over 40. i'm also over on tiktok so if you're over on tiktok give your girl a follow at lrh makeup and of course if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel turning on post notifications that way you'll be notified when i upload new content all right guys until next time remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence bye